Hey friends, it's Rev Kev on Friday, May 1st. Thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to be the church during this time of crisis. This situation has proven to us and to everyone that the church is not a building, that the church is truly about the people. And so I wanna thank you for continuing to, to minister to each other, to minister to our community. This is a season with uh, more questions and answers for us as a church. And so we need to be sure that we are asking and discussing and thinking about the right questions. For example, what's most important right now is not if our church will reopen or even when we will reopen, but how we will reopen. How our church best reopens the building to the public so that we can ensure the care and safety of those who worship with us in person is our absolute main concern. Remember, the coronavirus will likely still be active in our area for some time and effective treatments and vaccines are still some time off in the future. In some scenarios, we may be even looking at a start and stop, start and stop uh, type of thing as we continue to move through the rest of 2020. Even with our governor's plan to reopen Texas this week, our bishop has asked us to refrain from meeting until June or until at least we know more about the coronavirus. The following uh, are some of the guidelines that we are putting in place as we prepare to return to some form of in-person worship. I've attached much more detailed version of these guidelines to this email or to our Facebook page, uh, our relaunch guidelines. Just to give you uh, some of the highlights here though, we are working now to sanitize and sterilize our building, our chairs, our doorknobs, the back of the pews, everywhere that people's uh, hands have touched on a regular basis. Uh, when we resume, after each worship service, the worship areas, the bathrooms, the doorknobs, all exposed areas, will be cleaned and sanitized. Now, the word that you are obviously looking for. Our hope, our goal is to reopen the doors of our church on June 7th, 2020, with a worship only type of strategy. We will continue to provide two worship services at separate times in separate parts of our building. We will encourage people to use the Caniff Drive entrances for the 920 service and the Fairmont Parkside entrances for the 1120 AM service. We are going to do everything we can to practice social distancing. We're gonna remove and space the chairs. We're gonna block off every other pew. And we're gonna focus though on regaining some of our momentum in worship. We will not hand out bulletins or anything else for that matter for the time being. And, and all worship participants will be encouraged to wear a facial covering. Our volunteers are busily sewing uh, the facial coverings right now. So if you need one, please let us know. Please remember that these are guidelines, that they are temporary and they can and they will probably change over the next few weeks as we continue to learn more and more about this virus. As for now, we hope to continue providing all of our video daily devotionals. If you want to record one, please do send, us, send it to Stacy at the church. We're going to continue providing our, our uh, Facebook Live at 5 with Stacy on, on Wednesday evenings. Our vir weekly virtual worship services will continue on Sunday mornings at 920. So please plan on continuing to tune in to those. This week, we are continuing our established series with talking with God. And I wanna give you three big ideas of ways to help you when you pray. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. I miss you, I love you, and I can't wait to see you again. God bless you, we will see you soon.